Last story we have. We haven't talked about this game, actually, um, because of the fact that we don't play Destiny 2 anymore. But Destiny 2 Forsaken is out, for those of you that don't know. And um, people like it. People like it. Yeah. Have you? What have you been reading about it? Absolutely nothing. I don't care about it. Well, that's lovely. I just don't care about Destiny anymore. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but Destiny 2 is here. And uh, they have a raid that just launched this past week. And this raid is called The Last Wish. It launched um, in the morning. And a team of six players cleared the raid and uh, completed it in a 19-hour play session. Oh, my gosh. Well, it says, actually, so I'm reading this article on PC Gamer, and the text says 19 hours, oh, nearly 19 hours, but the title says 18 hours. So they played at least 18 hours straight doing this raid, were the first ones to beat it. And when they beat it, they confirmed it. Bungie confirmed it. They got a big, huge, like, WWE, like, bad in-game badge to showcase that they were the winners of it. Wow. And with that, it unlocked a slew of new content for everybody in the thing so in the game or in the rain? in the game okay in the game yeah so That's the cool. characters themselves they got the belt they also got an exclusive in-game emblem and they will be eligible to order a custom raid jacket um so they also get the that. exotic fusion rifle 1000 voices which unleashes a giant continuous beam of death so that is cool that they actually give you like actual real life swag for doing something like this. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's real life swag. It sounds oh. like you said they, they get to order a jacket. Well, they, they'll be eligible to order a custom rate. Well, maybe it is a real jacket. I was thinking like raid jacket, like it's just a jacket in the, like an in-game jacket. I feel like they like give you a real thing because yeah. <coughs> well, that'd be cool. Like near when destiny yeah. to launch, uh, they had that, that had that, uh, geocache thing where you could yeah. take a pin and stuff. That was actual like real swag that you can take. You find remember that. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. It's cool. Like this stuff's cool. Like that, that's actually really good on Bungie. Yeah. From to do something like that, especially getting like real stuff and being the first man, 18 hours. Like they, they ever go use a restroom or eat or anything. Like, see, that's what I was wondering. They have a shit um, bucket ne- nearby. I mean, obviously they took breaks. They had to have taken breaks. Right. You know what I mean? That's a long gaming session. That's like Dean. That's like Dungeons and Dragons things for like a whole day. Yeah. That's too much. It's too much. No, that is true. That is very true. Um, I was so in comparison, like they said, Vault of Glass took 14 hours, which is understandable because that was like the first raid that Destiny ever brought out. And then uh, Destiny 2's raid, Leviathan only took six hours to figure out. So uh, this one was because of his last two encounters, which stumped every raid team for hours on end. Not only that, they were stunned to find another encounter after killing the final boss that they thought was the final boss. They had to, so this is crazy. This is spoiler, but I'm sorry. I got to say this because it's hilarious. So after they slayed Riven, they had to crawl inside its corpse, literally rip out its heart and escape with it, which is pretty cool for like knocking out that stuff. Wow. That's yeah. cool. Um, so after it was done, uh, content unlocked the dreaming city in the dreaming city, the end game destination, a new strike called the corrupted is available. A new quest called the courier can be picked up from one of the, uh, NPCs <coughs> complete with a powerful gear drop. And, um, yeah, they could do something really cool. Like ready player one did. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, here's the first raid, right? Yeah. First to beat this gets this cool thing. Cool. Next raids unlocked. Right. So then, you know, everyone can go and do that if they want to. Right. Or like they have to progress that way. So it's like, okay, so this raid did it. So the next raid's even harder and even bigger and longer. So it's like, okay, so you get over there, beat that. And it's like a third raid's unlocked. And then like there are tiers to the raids. That way, like there's a bunch of new stuff that can be unlocked and people can get for like completing these things. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Obviously, I get it. Making these raids are sure not the easiest thing to do for Bungie. No. Especially yeah. for 18 hour experience, like trying to. Yeah. I'll be curious once work, people right? figure out <clears throat> figure it out what the actual timeline is going to be. Like if you know how to do everything, how long it takes from start to finish. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll see in a couple of days. Like once people get a hang of the rules and like the right how everything works. I bet you it's still probably pretty long though, like six or six hours maybe. Uh, at least, yeah, at least. That's nuts. Head on over to the Gamer.net for a full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines of the week. That, that's one of me of doing an interview. Here's one of all of us. We'll make some yeah, cool things. Stuff in there. Brett's also right here. 
like this video, subscribe, keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions that you care about right here on The Inner Gamer.